Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May. Please give me one card for Cancer, please. What do we have for Cancer for the month of May? Keep in mind, the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time in May. It could be, well, we got a couple, so we're going to take them both. Bad timing. You may be dealing with a Leo or something could be happening that needs to happen during Leo season. So that would be end of July into August. Okay, so there, right now there could be something happening that is bad timing, but, you know, uh, around the end of July, beginning to middle of August, you will probably be a better time. This card tried to fall off and I threw it back on. Virgo. Uh, so Virgo is right after Leo, so not Virgo season. So right around Leo season, something is going to happen. The time isn't right right now. So however that resonates with you. Um, bad timing for something. You could also be dealing with a, with a Leo right now. What do we have for Cancer? Please give me one card, please. You're obviously going to need to be strong. so big. Ten of Wands. Now, this is overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is overwhelmed. This is, this is too much. There's too much going on. There's, there's too much. This is too much to handle. It's like the phone is ringing. There's all kinds of projects to be done. Things are a little crazy right now. Uh, it looks to like, it looks like somebody has got themselves bitten off more than they can do chew they've gotten themselves into a pickle this is definitely overwhelming um there's a need to let go of some responsibilities you may need a vacation maybe you need to relax there's definitely an overwhelming feeling here uh this is this is craziness this is like ripping hair out uh, this is just too much. So I feel like May is going to be a month of, it looks like, uh, you know, trying to do too much and, and causing uh, craziness. This is, this, and you may be feeling it. You're going to be feeling like this is just too much. I think that you're taking on too much. And maybe that's why it's bad timing for something else. You may be overworked or... You're just trying to do too much. Having a hard time, definitely. Feels like things are a little messy. Please give me a card for Cancer. Oh, yes, you do need this. Soul Solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. And it's interesting that I mentioned a vacation. I do feel like you need to take a break. I feel like you're trying to do too much. You got a lot of things on your plate. Um, you probably need to take a time out. I do think you need a time out. I think if you could just relax for right now and go back to, you know, well, if you take a time out, you think about hermit mode, which is your time out. If you take a time out, you will reflect and you will come up with a better plan. And perhaps by Leo season, you will be able to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Right now, it's just, I mean, it's a bad time to add any more to your plate, okay? It really is. So, I feel like 
right now you're trying to do too much and you need to take a break. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like there's some sort of miscommunication here as well. Or there's a lack of communication. There's something that needs to be said that isn't being said. Maybe you need to tell somebody that you need some help or that you're not happy or this is too much. You Maybe you need to find your courage and your strength and your confidence to do so. You need to be brave. You're going to need to be brave during this time because I feel like you're dealing with a lot. A lot, 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 lot. Maybe actually you may feel like it, like ripping your hair out. King of Swords reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Cups reversed. So... We have a relationship that is having problems here. There's relationship problems. There's unrequited love or something like that. There's, there's uh, somebody that is probably abusive, maybe mentally abusive, verbally abusive, maybe even physically abusive. I feel like there's cold, cold energy here. Um, you're dealing with somebody or you've dealt with somebody that is unforgiving. This is somebody that is mean. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is very, very mean. You, you obviously are in some sort of relationship with this person. This doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a father. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. It could be. I feel like there, we have a heartbreaker here. This is the con man. This is uh, somebody withdrawing an invitation or canceling, canceling something, maybe canceling an event. Um, we may even have a commitment phobic here, somebody that doesn't really want a commitment. I feel like we uh, we have somebody here that is in a relationship that is not growing and it needs to be let go because a Ten of Wands, is something needs to be let go, it's weighing you down, this is too much. And underneath it is the Ten of Cups reverse, so that is a relationship. I don't know if there's some sort of uh, I don't know, dying dream or something like that. Somebody has bitten off more than they can chew. They may have gotten themselves engaged with somebody that is very moody, that has emotional outbursts, that throws anger fits or, or shuts down communication. I mean, you could be dealing with somebody that is literally... <clears throat> Uh, making you pull your hair out because they don't communicate. They just don't communicate. And it's interesting that I had to clear my throat. I feel like there's some sort of miscommunication here or a lack of communication. And communication is key to a relationship. If there isn't communication, then the relationship isn't going to work. And I feel like there's, a, there's some sort of weak, ineffective communication here. Um... Or there's a lack of communication, period. I feel like um, there is at least one person here that is power crazed, that lacks integrity um, with that King of Swords reversed. And I feel like they just aren't emotionally available in any way. And I feel like you really probably need to take a time out to consider, you know, uh, whether you want to be in this relationship or not. Because there is relationship problems here. There absolutely is. Um, and there's a need for strength. And there is a need for courage. And there is a need to be brave and to be honest with yourself. I feel like there's been some lies as well. And, and a denial of the lies. I don't want to believe the lies. And now you're at a point where this is just way too much. I think that things are actually going to come to a head. So what do we have for cancer? I think that we have a relationship that is uh, causing a lot of stress. World, Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation. This is a painful but necessary alteration. 
It is. It's going towards wish fulfillment, saying goodbye, accepting the truth, seeing very, very clearly. This is the end of a phase. It is the end of a chapter. This is a completion of a relationship. The lesson has been learned. This is stepping into a new life. It is realizing the truth. So I do believe there is some sort of truth that is coming out. Um, in regards to a relationship, I feel like there's been a lot of lies. I feel like there has been some lies. That King of Swords in reverse is lies. Okay, there's deception. And it could even be self-deception. This is, this is the end of an era. Okay, you are stepping into a new life. You are leaving behind a relationship that is not compatible. Um, it may be... <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like we are dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Because I, when I look at this card, I think of Sagittarius. I don't know why. Um, and then we have the King of Swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, the saying goodbye to something. This is uh, communicating the truth, speaking the truth, seeing the truth, taking a new approach, taking, getting a new idea, and running with it. So I do believe that... Uh, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of crazy behavior or an emotional outburst that is coming that, you know, uh, ends things. I mean, we definitely have completions here. Um, I think by, by Leo season, you will be in a better place, but I don't think it's right now. I don't. I think that you are dealing with some sort of abuse or denial, dishonesty. Um, there's e there could even be like a dictator here that is controlling you in some way, and this is just too much. Anyhow, um, I think in the past, it, maybe it hasn't been the right time to take action, but I feel like now is the time because the world card is a completion it is it is traveling it's leaving the past behind moving towards the future this is uh completing a cycle and beginning a new one so that's what's happening now you may not even be looking for a relationship you may need to heal that's why soul solitude is here i associated this with the hermit card which is a healing energy so this is taking a new approach, going within to heal, walking away. And it's not going to be easy to walk away. It's not. Because I think you're dealing with somebody that may be uh, causing you a lot of stress. This person is is causing you a lot of stress. And I feel like you're going to need to really master your emotions to break free from this situation. Um, you're going to be taking a new approach this month. You are. You're, you're leaving behind something that um, was very, very, very abusive. Okay? And I feel like um, you're going to be going through a period of healing as you step into this new life. You are stepping into something new. I think you've learned some sort of lesson. That Whatever lesson this is that you learned has caused your evolution for some of you there's a change of residence you're actually moving you're moving like you're moving you can be moving to another place another another place a distance a good distance you're moving a good distance um taking a new approach seeing things very clearly communicating your needs and i don't think you have been in the past I think you've shut down communication and I feel like by the end of this month, maybe even the middle of this month, you're going to be communicating something or somebody that you're dealing with is somebody just can't take it anymore. They've reached a point that they can't take it. 10, 10 in the world, completion, completion, major completion. So this is, this is a major completion for you. Okay, it's a completion of a cycle. It's freedom. Freedom from a stressful situation. Complete freedom. Okay, so for some of you, it's literally traveling to a new destination, moving to a new destination. Um, I feel like um, there's been some sort of obsession or unwanted attention or uh, disloyalty here. And I feel like it's all coming to a head. I do. And it's, it's going to be overwhelming. So I think, you know, right away, soon, very, very, very soon, you're going to be at a point where you, you just, you mean, there could even be some sort of 
you know, outburst. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, and, and being alone, spending time alone. Somebody's going to be spending time alone to reflect on themselves. I feel like there's some sort of emotional turmoil here because somebody has tried to make something work. They bit off more than they can chew. And it almost feels like it's embarrassing. You know, it's embarrassing that they put in so much effort into something. It feels like it's some sort of a public embarrassment. But this is a wake-up call. It's an epiphany. It's seeing the truth very, very clearly. The raw truth. Taking the power back. Taking your power back. And saying goodbye. Five of Pentacles reversed. And Ace of Cups. Self-love. There's self-love here. This is... Um, accepting it is after after having a victim mentality it's it's basically letting go of that victim mentality accepting help accepting the truth because the truth is the ace of swords that is literally accepting the truth this is self love it is this is a new beginning for you because that world card is you completing a chapter it is. It's completing a chapter in your life. Something big that has affected you as a life lesson. And a relationship taught you this lesson. I think we have a turning point here. There's been an unhealthy relationship that somebody has been reluctant to leave because they didn't want to be alone. But now it's like realizing, because the Ace of Swords is realizing the truth about love. So, and love comes from within and what you deserve and I feel like there's been a lack of value here. I don't even see any pentacles other than that five of pentacles, which is victim mentality. Somebody didn't know their value. Where's the value in this? I mean, where is it? Somebody has been in a relationship that is one-sided with that Knight of Cups reverse with, with an individual that is emotionally unavailable. And it may have been happy at the beginning but now it's reached a point where there's um, no communication or lack of communication. There's been some deception. There's been some lies. And now it's time to go. So anyway, I do believe that there, there, there's something is going to happen that is going to cause uh, somebody to decide to drop it, to drop something. I got I to gotta, I gotta get out of here. I can't do this anymore. I got to get out of here. I mean, come on now. This is too much. So anyhow, I do believe that this is connecting with yourself. This is becoming aware of, of who you are, of your self-love, going through a spirit. This is a spiritual, okay, Ace of Cups is spiritual. Ace of Swords is awakening. I feel like you are going through a spiritual awakening you some lesson has caused your evolution and now you're stepping into a whole new life but it is going to require you to let go that ten of wands is a burden it is baggage it is something that you don't need in your life and it's going to take bravery and courage and determination and confidence to do so now is not the time to get engaged with a relationship. Now is the time to get engaged with yourself. With your own self-love. Focus on you.
Do not let somebody lead you down the wrong path. And I feel like you have. And I feel like you've been, you know, impractical and unrealistic. I'm just being honest with the Knight of Cups reversed. I think that you've dealt with somebody that um, is very unforgiving. Anyway, I feel like a major cycle in your life is over. I feel like you are stepping into a new era and you are headed towards a big love. But I have to tell you that big love starts with you. Not with another person. So I feel like during this time, you are going to be doing it on your own. And if you think you need another person, you haven't reached that point of evolution and you have not learned your lesson yet. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. A time for you. Solitude in May. So that you can re-identify who you are right now. Not who you are because of another person. Good luck on your travels.